This is activity 5.5a, CAD model features part one. In this activity we'll do some revolve, do some holes, and we'll do some patterns. First one is kind of like a warm up. It is a sleeve for the button maker. So new part file. Start a 2D sketch. There are various ways you could do this. As always, you just need to be aware of all the features that Autodesk Inventor provides. So we're going to draw a cross section and revolve it around in a circle. So this is generally what the cross section looks like. The activity wants you to calculate some distances, but we're going to skip that. Now to revolve, we need an axis. Now we have an axis here because I did not start at the origin, so we could use origin itself it would be the x-axis in this case but let's draw a construction line hit this button just on the x-axis anywhere any length it's gonna give you three dimensions that you need to do so getting down to three would be what we need to do so looking at the drawing this dimension here is the wall thickness of this sleeve, 0.25. Double click the middle mouse button. The hole in the other end of the sleeve is 0.1875, so that's the full diameter. So from here to here would be the radius. So 0.1875 is the diameter, so for the radius we just divide by 2. No need for a calculator or to do it in your head. Now that moved our construction line, which is fine, we could just leave it there, but if we wanted the origin for some later purpose, what we can do is we can click on our construction line and then use the fix constraint so that it doesn't move. Come back into here, 0.1875 divided by 2. Move the whole thing up. Okay, next we have the overall diameter of this sleeve. So that would be double this distance here. And that is 1.375. And then we need to divide that by 2. And then we also have... Let's see, we have this thickness of this end here. which is 0.156. We also have some fillets on the ends, which we could do now, or we could do later. Let's do it now. These have a radius of 0.25. So hold your cursor over the corner, watch that green curve show up. And we're still on construction. I can show you how to fix that. Just click on your line and go up and deselect construction line. So, four dimensions needed. Three are probably construction line at least. I'm not sure what else we might be missing. Let's finish sketch and let's do the revolve. It's already selected our profile because there's only one profile to choose from. So now it's already on the axis selection and we want our construction line again or we could make the x-axis visible and just use that. So click on that. We want a full revolve. And you can see that I've, the one constraint we needed, if you look at the actual drawing here, it's a much skinnier tube. So I must have forgotten the overall length, 4.469. So, in most cases, you can just go back into your sketch and add a dimension, and it won't mess things up. If you change your sketch too much, or revolve, or some other features might struggle. So, from here, I have to click on my endpoint here. This is 4.469. Again, we lost 
our on the origin, but we could fix this line if we wanted to. But we don't really need to. So finish sketch and watch it adjust. File, save as. 5.5A. Rubber handle sleeve. Your initials. And that be it.